Sometimes when you join a club and you don't know the players, it can be a bit daunting to see what you've got in front of you. That's why I like to use different squad views to help me see what I'm working with, and today we'll have a look at them. So what we have here is my Badalona squad that I'm doing a series on YouTube and live streams on Twitch. Now it's quite a big squad because I've added to it because I needed to, and that was thanks to the filters I'm going to take you through today. Upon joining the club, I had a couple of good players that I already knew of. Key player Facundo Garcia and a hot prospect Matthias Ayala. But because this is a brand new team to me in a brand new league, all these players here are completely alien to me. So I need to find out what I'm working with. So I like to use a couple of views on the squad planner to help me see what I've got and if it's going to tick the boxes. It's an idea that came to me thanks to Lama's great video on club DNA and it's kind of an extension of that. So the view you see here is the lower league DNA which is available on the Manager Seat Discord via Lama's great video. What that gives you is an overall look at your players and what he feels are the key things to make a lower league team click. I like to use that as a start point. I love it. It's a great little thing, great little tool. And for guys who like to get geeky and nerdy like me, I'm guilty. I love it. I want to get a bit of an extension on it. So I'm going to break it down into areas of the team to see what I've got to work with. But back to general info. Now I've got a few aspects I like my team to be. For example, I want my wing backs to be attacking and a creative outlet. So I created one for wing backs. Now here is the wing back view that I've got. You can see all the different levels down there. Now I've got my full squad down there. That's not very useful when I've got my goalkeeper getting measured as a wing back. By the way, for some reason, he looks pretty damn good. But what we do is we go over to filtered, we drop that down, we untick all positions. And then I'm just gonna pop in defenders and defensive midfielders because some of the wing backs can be in that section as well. Now what that's gave me is all the wing backs and defensive midfielders and the attributes I deem to be the most important for the role. You can see there now, I've got a decent range of players that are going to cover what I need them to cover. I've placed them in order of what I feel is most important. So we've got the mental section there, we've got the physical section there, and we've got the technical section there. If I was a higher level team, the technical section may move up a little bit, but for lower league, these two take the preference. I won't go through them all one by one, but for example, the technicals, because I want my wing backs to be quite attacking and an influence higher up the pitch, I want good passing, tackling, crossing, and dribbling would be preferred. Granted, it's not going to be that good at this level, as you can see, but it would be ideal. If you combine those with some of the physicals, such as pace and acceleration, you can see that Christian Marquez, for example, is a really solid option at this level at right wing back. If you look a bit further down, Ivan Bravo, another great option as a left wing back. Only the dribbling's lacking, but at this level, I can work with that. This view also tells me the backup options as well. So if we think about even Bravo, the left wing back, really solid across the board, no doubt he's gonna be my starter. His substitute will be Danny Hernandez. You can see he's not quite of a level as Ivan Bravo. However, his physicals of 15 acceleration, pace, and natural fitness are elite at this level. So maybe he can make a really good statement off the bench affecting matches later on. Stinger Workers Midfield is a lower league version of what I'm looking for in the midfield. So I want hard working players who can basically get up and down the pitch and work their socks off. So if I look at my best player in my squad, Facundo Garcia here, we go across the board there, you can see pretty damn decent. Only de determination is lacking, sorry. Everything else is 15, 14, really good level. One fall in, again, lacking in the fitness because he's a little bit older, but his mentals are elite and his technicals are superb. So looking at that, I can forge a decent midfield pairing and looking at the backups as well, it looks pretty good. The last one I'm going to show you today is the Stinger Attack Create. Now this is for attacking midfielders and strikers and this is the only one where the physicals are in the third column because I like to see the technicals and mentals higher up because I find them a little bit more important in this position. That's just me though, they are still very important and that's why I've got that column down there. Again, very different to the other two, the wingbacks and the midfielders. There's more of a focus on flair, creativity and goal scoring in this one. For example, down here in the mentals, you've got your vision, composure, off the ball and flair. Technique, you've got finishing, first touch, technique and passing. We're really looking for a nice range here. And looking at the squad there, I realised I was a bit short, so that's why I brought in Idrissa and Luis Piro here to give us a bit more backup. And they're going to be starters in some cases and it just helps that overall look of the squad. When you go back to your squad screen, don't forget to go to filtered and select all of them because otherwise they won't all show up. That really helps when I first join a club, especially lower league when I'm not familiar with the names to help me decide what squad I can make and what tactic I can build. 
Having used all that, I've came up with three tactics. I'm probably going to drop it to two. I've got a 4 2 4. I've got a really wide 4 3 3 there. And for some games where I want to control possession, I've got the 4 1 3 2. And that squad view helped me find out what players I was lacking. Did I need to add any? And are they going to be capable of doing that? Pretty simple one. If you fancy the views yourself, I'll put them in the manager seat Discord. So join up in there and it'll be on the download section. But for now, I'm going to wrestle with the rest of Battle Owners preseason because I've got some work to do.